Hello, CC Paul. I truly hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I want to keep this one really professional for you. I want to be going through the exact levels that I'm looking for next for the rest of this week to come. I am currently trading very consistently and successfully. I'm very proud and you know very happy with my gains right now. So I want to be sharing with you so you fully understand what I'm looking at. Okay, I want you to be on the level that I'm trading at right now. So let me help you. All you need to do is pay full attention to this video and I'll be talking you through the exact steps that I'm looking for next. So if that sounds good to you, tune in, pay attention and yeah, let's just get straight into the analysis. That's what we're here for, right? We love to trade. We love to do technical analysis. This is for us like our game. This is our, this is, this, this is my life. I love what I do. So let me share this with you today in the video, picking up right where we left off last week. And that was while we were trading around here. We obviously had two levels to be aware of. With my highest level, we actually ended up topping out at. So let me just really quickly play this two second clip from the video on Friday, just to remind you the level that I was looking at here. Okay, so let's go together with this two second video clip. Well, then I can be looking up to around 19,005, 19,600. Okay, this would be my next area of resistance if we break through this and hold it as support. Okay, so as you as you heard there, I was looking for 19,500, $19, dollars for my area of resistance. Okay, if we flipped our next local resistance into support, which we did do. So we moved up through our first resistance, flipped it into support. My next resistance was around 19,600. Where did we top out at? 19,600, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just explain every single detail that you need to be aware of right now. Okay, so obviously, I've said this many times, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to say it again because it's very important. When we have no technical analysis on our charts, when we have a blank chart, we are gambling. We have no idea what the highest probability is. We have no thought through plan. We are just going to be losing money in this regards. If you want to successfully, consistently and profitably trade Bitcoin, you need to have a well thought through plan with very good technical analysis. So let me add on my technical analysis that I have added on from yesterday's Champions live stream. Okay, and we go from the unknown to a very well thought through and very well respected levels. We all know why highs were put in, why lows were put in. This was obviously off of our CC, which we were talking about on Friday. From the bounce of that CC, we managed to flip the POC into support. So just let me show you this, ladies and gentlemen. We were obviously range bound for Saturday and Sunday. Okay, so Saturday and Sunday we were range bound. But what was happening during this time? Well, we were forming massive bullish divergences. Okay, so if you're not following on Twitter, I do recommend why, because I'm giving out a lot of information for free over there too. Obviously, of course, everything first is posted in my group, but nevertheless, it's still, it's still good to read this. Um, so yeah, basically on Friday after the video, I posted to my group inside Discord, I want to see higher. So you have a few reasons of why Bitcoin went higher, right? I wanted to see higher. We saw, why was this though? Because we had the very large bullish CVD divergences and the ES stock market was moving up and the DXY was locally dropping. So you have a lot of reasons here. Bitcoin itself, the order flow, and the correlations with our bigger markets, all expecting higher, as you can see here. Um, as you know, on Friday, I did take a short position on Bitcoin. I said my next level to the downside was the VWAP, which we hit, by the way. We hit and bounced off that VWAP. So we did get the drop in price. So once reading the context, I knew I closed that short trade and I will not short again locally here. Why? Because of everything bullish on the chart, the chart itself on Bitcoin, and then the correlations with the ES pushing up led me to believe Bitcoin is going to go higher and I'm not shorting again. This is posted inside my coaches only, read only channel in the Discord, right? And I tell you also for free over on Twitter, I'm not shorting this again and I have closed my local short trade. Okay, what happened? Bitcoin pushed up. And that's where we formed this range, right? That's when we went on to form this range. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then from that range to the sideways price action, we then started to form once again these bullish CVD divergences, okay, that are forming here. Big bullish CVD divergences. And you also, on Sunday, okay, got a back test of the daily to the dollar. This was the daily that was formed on Friday. So if you were good at your technical analysis, you could have added this one. And that daily was back tested to the dollar for another move to the upside. Where did we top out at? I have a guess, ladies and gentlemen, 19,600, that level we were, you know, of course, being aware of. Okay, so you formed the ES pushing up on the open last night with the bullish CVD. You broke up to top out at 19,600. I was very, very much aware of a continued push to the upside 
we got the continued push to the upside and then we hit my top resistance level okay and then this is what's very important to understand but i can be bullish on these lower term time frames reading the order flow expecting higher well on the higher term time frame understanding you know we're we're, we're bearish and i'm happy to compound short positions so i'm looking for scope long trades or compounding swing short trades that's something very important to understand as we did top out here at 19600 as i told my team last night once we got the open we then actually were presented with a ccv target of 19038 dollars so we're trading at 19600 okay so i've, I've recognized the target for the downside i've also been telling my team well, i'm taking my short positions here these are just coming in at market entries kind of funny but one minute later the market started to crash by the way call it coincidence or call it cc pool i'll leave that up to you but i was happily taking my shorts up there around 95 96 okay i knew my ccv target was to the downside i saw the dxy come up and fill its gap i saw the es pulling back locally for me is enough reasons to boom execute as well as very very locally we had come back into that value area high so i thought hey this was the level i was ready and waiting for i've seen the reaction i was debating to wait for an acceptance lower into the channel but i decided to go ahead and, and execute quicker after seeing the dxy the stock market and the back into the value area high. i just thought it was well worth the, the the risk here so to speak and of course, in the end, it was worth the risk as we did get a continued pullback during the night into the more next morning. And now I want to explain why we're bouncing, where we're bouncing from here. And then, of course, I'll explain what I'm looking for at that for the rest of this week. So I can give you the exact reason why we bounced here. As you can see, the point of control. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this was point of control that I found. OK, last night during the Champions live stream, as I'll just show you here for evidence. So this was a level that I had marked out from the Champions live stream last night. Champions live stream 176 from the 23rd today is the 24th. As you can see here, I've done a lot of pulls and I had this point of control, $19,127. $19,127. Okay. From this, 12 hours later, what happened, ladies and gentlemen? Okay. We've come down and we've back tested that to the exact dollar. To the exact dollar, the point of control. Level that we are already waiting and aware of, right? So this is what happened overnight. We obviously got the pullback. We hit our first weekly level. I told my team, I'm happy to stay in my short trade for now. I'm not going to trade this weekly. I'm looking for lower. And then we got that move down, finally got it lower to the point of control. And what happened? We bounced off of it, yes, to the exact dollar. Okay. And then from here, we're able to make the next informed decision. We can now take a scalp long trade off the POC. Why? Because then at the same time, you've got the ES bouncing. Okay. The ES got its bounce underway. And the DXY started to pull back locally. So then once again, we've come back in confluence with our other greater markets, so to speak, greater. We've got the confluence of the DXY, we've got our confluence of the ES, and now we've got a good reason for this to bounce, right? We've come down and we've taken the last low before our last high onto the POC, which again, once again, I just want to stress, was marked out 12 hours in advance. We knew the exact level of the point of control. We hit it to the exact dollar. I'll even show you this on a one minute time frame just to impress you even more. Move down, tap to the exact dollar, bounce to the exact dollar and it won high. Um, so yeah, that has basically explained every single reason and pivot of the past few days. CC, back test of the daily to the exact dollar, coming up to 19,600 for the rejection, acceptance back into value area high, stock market moving down. We got the move down with Bitcoin. Where did we bottom out at? The point of control to the exact dollar for this local bounce. Well, what am I looking at next then? Well, really simply for me, I'm still aware that this daily and NPOC for me remains a very large target to the downside. Okay, this for me is very key to the downside. Of course, if we lose that, I can look to my next level. This for me is my next target. Of course, this point of control is a very important level. So if we lose that, then this for me is my big target. Please remember, ladies and gentlemen, the way we trade at Chart Champions is level to level. This was my next key level, point of control of the range. This is a, definitely a big level, especially when you look at the context with what happened with this stock market getting its bounce. This has caused a big level and it definitely is worth a scope long trade. And we've now got that bounce underway. So if we do end up putting in a lower high or getting a rejection and we lose this support, this would be my next zone to the downside between the daily and the MPUC, right? And you obviously have to look for the wicks below that. Okay, so this is my key support should we lose the point of control. And then to the upside, I want to now explain what I'll be looking for to the upside. Well, on the upside, what I like to do here is pull this. 
okay really from this when we started to put in the consolidation you see we have coming up now into the poc so a few levels that i would be personally be aware of would be that poc and then here onto the cc which is around this val value area high slash taking these highs so i can say that locally i now have a resistance of the poc if we can claim that i'm looking up towards the cc right so I would have my next local resistance and my next local support should we lose this and should we break the POC. So I have a mini scalp traders levels off of the POC and well this POC here which we bounced off and I happily took a scalp long off of this by the way. So now I'm aware for example where my take profit would be on the long. My take profit is on the short for very low term time frame. I'm talking one to five minute traders quickly in and out. You have to be a very good trader to trade these levels. Okay, then we have our more relaxed levels down here, or relaxed levels up here. This, I would need to see some confluence. At the moment, I have no confluence. So I would need to see something happening with the DXY and the ES, or some sort of setup of a low-term time frame. This, for me, is not an amazing short on its own. Need to see some confluence. Definitely need to see some confluence. Otherwise, I think we just break through it and head up towards our 19775. So I hope you can understand here what it means to be a professional trader. It means marking out your levels, doing your technical analysis, and having a plan. I know, for example, I'm planned and ready to know what to do. For example, let's say when we, if we come down to here, I'm never going to say there's a guarantee. It's trading. It's a game of probabilities. But should we come down to here, I'm ready and aware of what the level is. I'm ready and aware of what I want to see in terms of the order flow. And I also know what I want to see in terms of my other markets. So that means I'm ready, prepared. And then to execute the trade, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come across and look at the order flow. And that's my final layer of the cake, the final bit of the pudding, so to speak, of putting it all together and executing my plan. Okay, I'm very, very confident in my analysis. I've been trading very well recently. And the levels are, I mean, you see it for yourself, respected to the exact dollar, respected to the exact dollar. These are levels we have marked out way in advance. If you want those levels, of course, you can come across to Chart Champions. This is my live stream from last night. If you missed that, you can sign up and watch it today. Okay, the levels are still respected. If you want to learn from the education, of course, we've got the whole educational courses from beginners to master expert level. You know, you've got everything you need to become a profitable trader in terms of the theory. You've got all the education, hour-long videos, five-minute condensed version videos, the vault with all of our templates, all of our trading journals, all of the cheat sheets. And then now we've also got the live trading series as well. So if you want the live trading, if you want the daily live streams, if you want the education and you want the updates, for example, just having to know this, I'm staying in my short trade and we hit the weekly. That was a level I had marked out. If you see me say I'm staying short, you know, this is probably very helpful information, right? We're talking about, you know, five minutes later, we went lower again and we hit the point of control to the exact dollar where we were granted with a scope long. So, yeah, if you want those type of updates in the time, if you want the live training, if you want the theory, you can catch that over at chartchampions.com. We're more than happy to have you join the mentorship and, and trade alongside us. So, yeah, that's um final reminder I will give. And that's just a reminder that we are still going to be giving away $100,000. Obviously, I have been trading very well recently. And, you know, it seems like a really good time with how the world is at the moment. And a lot of, you know, a lot of people are not doing as well, uh, which is which is just part of life. But obviously, we're going to be doing our thing to give back as, as well as we can. And we've decided, decided to do this in a little bit of a fun format, hopefully for everybody, a bit of initiative to try and get to a hundred thousand. Um, and yeah, we're definitely going to be doing this. We'll give away the money. So if you're interested in that, you can obviously check out the video from a few days ago where we're giving away and explaining why we're going to be giving away those trading profits. So, um, yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned something in terms of how I've been trading this, how I'm marking out these levels, what I'm looking for next, why we're bouncing from where we're bouncing from, if you want to get involved in that 100k, then just hit that subscribe and share the channel. And I'm going to just wrap it up by saying thank you ever so much. If you want to see more, catch us over on the Discord. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. Have a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant day ahead. And CC Paul, send their regards. I love you all. I really do. Thank you ever so much. I'll catch you in the next video. That's me signing out. Of course, with the disclaimer, no financial advice. No video we've ever done and no video we ever will will contain financial advice. And all trades are always on the PayPal Demo Trade account. Thank you, everybody, and goodbye. Cheers.